Good morning. All oh, bright and sunny. Yes, I am. <laughs> Good morning. I'm sporting my favorite human, Mr. Hughley, on my chest. BT Dub. I need a smaller shirt because I've lost weight. I'm tur I turned into a skinny bitch. My uh, favorite human shirts are too big, so I got to get some smaller ones. Anyway, we're going to be talking about a lot of bullshit this morning. Don't ask me what, but... Hey, Jonathan. What's up? Good morning. Welcome to the party. My what's up, Jordan? Hey, little Timmy. What's up, baby? You came to work early today. I got missed it. <laughs> How you doing? Are you frozen? Nigga come to work and then his phone don't work. Come on, little Timmy. Difficulties. He's gonna have to come back. Anyway, as I was saying, good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, everybody. I can share this feed. Hey, Cynthia. We are in here. I'm still on the left coast, so I'm trying to get my life together. I got a lot of shit I want to talk about this morning. Ugh. I'm still sleepy though. Y'all know it's early out here. It's early as shit. But I'm having a good time. Running into celebrities. I'm fanning out and shit. I'm being such a stalker fan. Hey, it's so and so and so and so. Okay, so let's see if we can get little Timmy back. Hey, Mike Sanders, how are you? Good morning. So this is the conversation that Timmy and I have. <laughs> Hi, little Timmy, welcome back. Timmy and I have every morning where we just go in, we talk about a little bit of this, yeah. of that, anything and everything, and absolutely right. nothing. So let's get at it. Yes, what I heard. What's going on? First of all, let's check in. How you doing? How was your night? You survived the- Oh, well, mine? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm he's a, he's all right. Timmy, Timmy is a, a former police officer junk, junkie sitter. <laughs> that's oh, that's new, what I am right now. That's his new police gig, junkie sitter. Yeah. Right now, what I do is I count junkies and I put it in the stat sheet. <laughs> I put, I put it in, a, I put it, <laughs> I put it out there. I got spreadsheet, a junkie spreadsheet. Oh my goodness, that's what I'm talking about. That's the shit. So. We got a few things I want to I want to touch on this morning because motherfuckers always doing stuff. So I just want to talk about the stuff that motherfuckers always do. So first of all, case number LA. This I'm talking. I'm police code. Case LA case number no case number LA O five. Uh, the case of DeAndre Wade. Better known to you as Soldier Boy. Mm -hmm. Soldier Boy back in the news, y'all. So this clown, he got he got stepped back. Uh, apparently, he was always already on uh, probation, and he got stepped back for submitting bogus uh, compliance records to the fucking court in possession of ammo. He's an idiot. Really? Okay. Can we he's just, an idiot. Can we just go on record as saying he's a fucking idiot? Hey, Big Mike, what's he up? He's an what's idiot. Party? So, you know, when somebody submit bogus compliance records, that's either your, you got to go to meet and sheet, or I don't know how he did. Maybe he got, he did dirt, uh, fake urinalysis. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's apparent uh, that the judge is being nice to this nigga. Gave him 240 days, uh, I think 240 days. But they gave him credit for time served and stuff like that. He got time served credit. So. I think he got community service. I'm stupid. He should have went to jail, dumbass. Community service, 240 days community service. That's what it is. But mm. what is wrong with that boy? Something wrong with him. I see you should have interviewed. You should have interviewed he had with Charlamagne the God. I did not. When? Yesterday? It was a hell of a that was a while. It was like a couple of weeks ago. It was a, it was a good interview though. What made it good? <laughs> so stuff he was talking stuff he was talking about was actually he could prove. Like he was talking about 
how he started started the culture of the internet. He did of the um, you know, his music started off the internet. He did do that. That was one of the first. He did what? Um, started you know, start got his music jumped off off through the internet. You know, when everybody was being famous, he did that. He started that. What's he up, started Marcus that. Holmes? And then um, how he messed around and um, he like, we started some true stuff. Like how uh, he messed around. Like Drake stole one of his lyrics. He proved that. What? Yeah. He up the head. Yeah, he proved Drake stole one. Uh, the group Migos. He helped start them. He actually it was, it was a, he, did, he, he actually did a lot, believe it or not. He's a nut, but he did a Wait, lot. Wait, so Soldier Boy was he's you say he started the Migos or he's Yeah, he was he was he's he was he was an intricate part of starting the group the Migos. Really? He's an intricate part of them guys. He knew those guys, he slept on his couch. Go ahead, give us uh Soldier Boy's resume. What's up? Yeah, Ray, he, what's up? He did shoot some people though. Somebody tried breaking his house, he had to shoot and he shot like three dead three dudes. Shut the he hell shot three dudes trying to break in his house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, I think he killed one. I remember yeah, that. Yeah. He, he, he didn't kill one. Though. I think he did. He no, didn't kill one. Didn't die. Hey, he Andre, didn't die. Look at Cousin Bear. <laughs> he didn't die. Yeah. You think okay. he died? I thought he died. No, I, I don't thought think. the guy died. Because he was, I remember he was, everybody was doing the Soldier Boy parody when he shot the nigga. He was like, I did this and I did pow, 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 pow. pow. It was all crazy as shit. Everybody was doing Soldier Boy parody. I, I, I thought one of the guys died. Seriously, because he shot the uh, shit out of the dude. I don't know. Anybody on the feed know, got, got any insight on the Soldier yeah, Boy? But he had to get, he had, it, 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 you, you have to watch this interview. It's very interesting. Okay. It's a really good interview. Okay. So, but the boy crazy, though. But he has he did a lot, though. He's done a lot. Yeah, Soldier Boy is a lunatic, okay? He's a lunatic, yeah. Is, but he's he's an entertaining lunatic. He's he funny. Is. That's the he's thing. funny to me. That dude, I don't get it. So I wanted to say one more time, um, condolences to the Braxton family because uh, yes, twenty four year old Yolanda Braxton, y Lolo, finally known by her family, uh, passed away on Monday. You know, suddenly it was crazy. Um, mm -hmm. I just, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm at a loss for words because you know she was such a beautiful soul and so young. Yeah, so, 24. And it's an awful, awful loss. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's that. Just a small act. What now? So apparently, Fox has. You know, we talked briefly about it yesterday. Fox approved the new season, season six of Empire. Empire is coming back okay. for a new season, but Jesse, they say, sit your ass down. So yeah. he's not quite fired, but he's not coming back. Oh, that, that, that definitely told me at my job one time. <laughs> Look, Tim, don't come back no more. You're not fired. But don't come back no more. That's called fired. <laughs> you know what I mean? So That's they my cousin. Say, I say, well, they my cousin got him. fired. They, they, they have to pay my him. Cousin, huh? Oh, they got to pay him how much? They no, got to pay him? No, I don't know how much, but they have to pay him because yeah. they, they, they are, they're um, invoking their privilege to hold him over just in case. And rumor has it that they might be waiting to see how his civil case, you know, the city of Chicago is suing him. Right. All the police time, all that bullshit. Motherfucking police need to be sued for all the time. They waste eating fucking oh, dumb be quiet. Okay, Whatever. Police ass. Whatever. You know what? He didn't get fired. He got terminated. There's a difference. He didn't get terminated. <laughs> he he got set. He got set still. They said, hold on. That's what black people say. No, yo, I ain't get fired, yo. I ain't get fired. I got terminated. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> nothing different. Yo ass He's got not. fired. <laughs> He got yeah, set down. Know. He got set down. He yeah. got what? He so they held him over. They held him over to his contract expired. I mean, well, while right. while they did decide. So he, you know, they got. So they, been, so they, they got to pay. They got. They got to pay him. Then they have to pay him until. Yeah, they, I can't until imagine, you know, because you know, he can't take any other gigs. Yeah. Depending on the terms of right. his contract. But Jesse going to yeah. be working. Jesse going to be doing back moonwalks and shit. He going to be doing <laughs> cartwheels, fight niggas, everything to get back on. Oh, 
that you just smell that on the fries? <laughs> that nigga be singing back on fries. He on fries singing. <laughs> he, gonna be, he gonna be dropping fries and some more shit. Listen, <laughs> Jesse is gonna get that job back. Jesse yeah. it in. They said, you know, he, he had been seen about town uh, having lunch with some of the network execs. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, don't know. I guess they're trying to. I don't know. Johnson, I guess they're trying to figure out. You know. Johnson said Lee, he gonna take a leave of absence to put the storyline together. <laughs> he he should have did that shit before he fucked with them Africans. That's what he should have did. He should have put that storyline together about him. Look, We'd be having a different conversation. I know. You, I, you know I love black people. Black people will take a leave of absence before they get fired, don't they? <laughs> they love uh, when they feel like they will get fired. They, damn they, they right. Go sick. Damn they right. gonna sick. Oh, I can't make it. Yeah, I'll be making up shit. I got sick of selling pneumonia. <laughs> they be making up shit. I ain't gonna be. I gotta take. A, I gotta take FMLA. I got sick of selling pneumonia. I need I FMLA. Sell pneumonia. <laughs> I had this girl one time tell me she called in. She was trifling this shit. I was managing uh, this property in Alexandria, and um, she she called me and said. I can't come in. I'm in the emergency room. I had a brain aneurysm. <laughs> she said she had a brain. She said, yeah, I had a brain aneurysm, but I'll be back by Tuesday. <laughs> this was Friday. Really? Okay. I'm like, bitch, what kind of aneurysm medicine you taking? Because no, no, I... neither one of us ain't got to do this no more. You be back by I'm Tuesday. I'm in my head one time. Huh? I liked this guy one time. I liked this guy one time that didn't want to go to jail. He started sinking. I said, what the fuck wrong with you? Man, I'm having a seizure, nigga. I said, dude, you can't have a seizure and talk to me at the same time. He like this. I said, what's wrong with you? Man, I'm having a seizure, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you're not going to the hospital. If you can tell me you're having a seizure, you are not having a seizure. <laughs> Like and share this feed, y'all. Welcome to the party, Jerry and Chris T. Welcome to the party, everybody. Listen, we in here each and every weekday morning. I'm in here talking to crazy ass Timmy <laughs> about anything and everything. And absolutely, I'm having a seizure, Nick. This is Junkie Watch 2019. 2019. <laughs> Listen, I'll tell so I heard um, Kelvin, Kelvin. When Kelvin Hunter, I didn't know his name was Kelvin with an L. That's some country shit. Kevin. So they dropped the L. Or the L is silent. <laughs> like all black people. So Kevin your name, Hunter. Your, your name Nikki with a Q. <laughs> that's the, right. Shh, don't say Frankie the Q, though. Do that Q like Frankie. <laughs> yeah. So Kelvin went to the house to get his things, right? And he uh, calls the police on Wendy and the son. I don't know if he thought they was going to whoop his ass or he was going to have to whip somebody's ass because he's notorious for whooping that Wendy ass. But I'm not exactly sure what happened in this case. But Mr. Kelvin is alleged to be experiencing some remorse. Like, of course he is. Listen, he, he probably went over to her, Wendy, sir, <laughs> I messed up. Yeah. Come I on, man. That's just you Come on, you probably want to look at it. Look at it, okay, man. Pillows. Yeah. Look at it, man. I want to come That's home. The side bitch yeah. and the baby, they all right over there. <laughs> I want to come <laughs> home. Uh-uh. You probably went over there tomorrow. They should all just, just come together, one big happy family. Wendy, the side nah. bitch, the new baby, the old baby, the old nigga. You know, that way, nah. he ain't got to take no ass whoopings. He, he can beat the side bitch. He don't have to whoop her oh. no more. Yeah, yeah. What? Well, he's still gonna beat both <laughs> ass. Gonna, now you got two of them getting beat, <laughs> or or both of them whooping his ass because that's how it should be with his big. I don't, know, I don't know how he whooped Wendy's ass. Wendy big. That's a big girl. She, I mean, that's a big girl. Big. I don't know she's she, not big. She she's yeah. tall, but she's not even that tall. I think I'm taller than Wendy. Yeah, but she wears size forty two shoes. She can be the kick the shit out of that big ass soccer shoe she got. She, had, I'm telling you. That bitch, they had they showed them Timberland shit. She had a pair of Timberlands on one time. That bitch like a whole forest. She had like eight trees on her shoe. Shut the hell up. <laughs> they did. They, she, they did. She had a pair of Timberlands. I was like, God damn. On you, 
to prevent forest fires, Wendy. <laughs> she, she has about eight trees on the temple. Like, God damn. <laughs> You are dumb. Shut it up. She got Shut big. Up. I'm serious. They had, I'm serious. That girl has a big ass feet, big ass Nike check. That uh, shit what? go all the way to the front. She got a pair of Nikes. That motherfucker start from the tip to all the way to the back. Like that's the, oh my god, Nikki. You gotta see her shoes. I, you know what I did? I, I called Lolo's name wrong. Her name is Lauren. I don't know why I said Yolanda. I just thought about that. So, Timmy, I got a yes. question. You watched the draft. Yeah, I watched. So, so yeah. Huh? I watched some of it. Why? Did Baltimore get a good draft pick? Yeah, we got a great draft pick. I think his last name Brown. Yeah, we got a great draft pick, a receiver. We did really good. So you know the number one draft pick was the brother, right? Yeah, yeah, he had a pink suit on. <laughs> but but how about the second draft round draft pick, the white boy, the president called him. Really? So the president didn't call. I think it's traditional. Like, I'm not a football person. You know, the drafts that I like uh, when we're on the corner and somebody picks me. But yeah. <laughs> this particular draft, apparently it is tradition that when the number one draft picks gets a call from the POTUS. And the POTUS, being in true stupid-ass POTUS fashion, right. that he said, fuck that. I'm not calling that nigga. And called the white boy and congratulated him because the white boy had apparently recently come out as a Trump supporter. That's why. Do you think that's, that's why? Shady boots. <laughs> no, do, do, do you really care? Or do you, let me ask you a question. Do you, would you really care or did you really want one? I'm, I'm called. From him? No, because I'm no. saying call a voicemail. Yeah, Trump, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, hell no. Oh hell! I'm saying I'm over the voicemail. No, you answer the phone and somebody say I have the president. Of... Oh, Dale said it's not tradition. Okay, what's not tradition that they called the first round draft pick or that they called the second round draft pick? So, I'm I'm taking that call. Somebody called me say the POTUS is on the line and Donald Trump is in the White House. I'm gonna be like, hold on, <laughs> just like a bill collector. I'm hanging up on that motherfucker. I'm gonna leave you alone. Nah, I just answered for England. What up, nigga? <laughs> what up, what white up, nigga? What up, white nigga? Woo woo! <laughs> he be mad as shit at me. Hey, man, what's up, you orange ass nigga? <laughs> oh, Cheeto face ass nigga. Oh, tangerine face ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he hate my ass. He hate my black ass. He would hate. I treat that motherfucker like. Hey, I, I treat that motherfucker like. Please. I can't stand. I mean, you know. I mean, so what he called? Who cares? Nobody cares about Donald Trump nobody. calling nobody. 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 Yet. Even the people you know, who take the first calls all, don't really give a fuck that it's called. First of all, he don't even probably follow football. He only knows shit about no sports. He mm -hmm. probably don't know nothing about no sports. He might know something about Teletubby. Teletubby? Ain't that a sport? Because <laughs> he looks like one. Huh? It's Teletubby. Yeah, Teletubby. Yeah, he looks like one. Yeah, he looks like one. I mean, you know what? I, I guarantee you him and his wife haven't had sex in years. If years. ever. If ever. The only time she fucked him baby. was to get that first coin. After she got the money, she ain't fucking him unless it's in the contract. It might be in the contract. Yeah, I know one thing. That little son, I ain't talking about little kid. That little nigga like a Chucky doll. <laughs> <laughs> he, look, he like a Chucky. That nigga like a Chucky doll. He, he just waiting to kill smile. <laughs> He yeah. jump on the box and kill your that little motherfucker ass. probably after after the inauguration he went home and killed some puppies. <laughs> you know, you, I mean, I, 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 the I, head I, off you of can tell puppies. little boy. You can tell little boy special. That little boy, he's a special. I mean, he can tell he got something wrong with him. He did. That he nigga did. looked like a school shooter. That nigga looked crazy. He did. He does. He, he did. Like he always looked like a. This whole look. Like he in pain. Yeah. Well, if your father was Trump, would you be in pain? I would be. I would be. He I'm, pain. I'm in pain, yeah, I'm in pain and my father not Trump. The fact Let that so. we have to have Trump conversations is painful to me. What's up, Tawan? Yeah, I like, like I said, I like the Obamas, because you know them two were still in love. They probably was doing all stuff. They still in love. In the White House. Not was. That, you know what, though? That's the last time you're going you to ever hear, give me that dick in the White House. Ever. You never hear that shit again. Ooh, give me that big black dick. You ain't going to never hear it in the White House again. <laughs> they ain't never going to happen again. Give me that dick, nigga. You ain't never going to hear that no more. <laughs> That's over. They, they all in the goddamn Lincoln room. Ooh. 
You ain't never gonna hear that again. I know oh, Secret Service. You are they probably wrong. About to do it, I guess. But they probably do it. They, 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 would not have sex language like they, that. You crazy. I just like don't. Secret Service, like this. Uh, Secret Service, like this. He tearing that pussy up. Yo, you got. I'm right by the door. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> Obama and his wife was getting it in. They was. I I, I envision that too, though. I. I envision them like just doing it. I love them. I, I absolutely love them. I think they were the best first couple we ever had in existence. Mm. They knock <laughs> the door. We got an emergency. This motherfucker comes to the door with his boxes on, his chest out. Huh? We got a war starting. She in the back like this, decking with her covers up. You <laughs> finish me off before you do this. You want finish before you go meet China? She's sitting there like that with a cover over her chest. What you, uh, I know you ain't gonna fuck with China and not finish me off. <laughs> Wait, Dale said Dale said when we had the first gay president, you gonna hear it again? <laughs> <laughs> Give me that dick, baby. <laughs> oh, I know that you're right. Papa. You're turning you're right. it, husband president, <laughs> Mr. President. Oh, you're right. Yeah. How how would it how does it sound? How would how would it sound if you was the gay first gay yeah. <laughs> Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? <laughs> Who's your daddy? Who's your take daddy? Take this dick. You take this dick. Take this dick. <laughs> take this dick. I'm the president. This dick. Take but somebody gotta be the fifth. What's up, Tina Mobley? <laughs> We talking yeah, about you know presidential what? dick right now. It's going to happen. We're going we to get the first gay president. It'll happen. It'll be, it'll I happen. think it will happen. It might be a female, I think, I think we might, might even be get the first gay president before we get the first woman president. You know there's an openly gay presidential candidate. I don't have his name at this Yeah, I know. I know. But we'll have that for you tomorrow. I know. But oh, I, I don't, yeah, think, I don't think so. Yeah, I think I they'd rather have a woman than a gay because America is so uptight, especially with the Trump shit. We're going to have to go back. we really going to have to get somebody who is liberal, liberally liked by the masses because of all of the damage that the Trump administration has done to um, us as a society. Yeah. Like they, right. they have been so overtly racist and all of the drama, they took us back. They took us back like 40, 50 years with this fucking. Oh yeah, way back. Yeah. But I wonder I wonder if Biden is the person to do it though. I mean Biden's likable. Biden's yeah, likable. Like I think he could do it. He could pull it off. You know. But I think he's running on the fact that he ran with Obama and I think that's he think that's gonna be I don't think so. I don't think people looking looking at him like like he's the understudy of Obama. You know what I'm saying? Well I do that's I believe that on. I believe that his 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 broad appeal has a dot is can be directly related to him being right. uh, Obama's number two. But I don't, th I, but, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's I don't think that's the masses. I think that people look at look at him as an individual. He's always been an individual, which I did like about him. You know what I'm saying? But I I look at him. I don't say okay, he was under Obama, so he's going to be a great president. I still look for other candidates that might be better than him. Just because he's under Obama don't make me say I'm gonna vote for Biden. You know what I mean? Yeah. I still have my own opinion about Biden because he's. You know, he started different views that Obama had too. So, would you would you support a Joe Biden candidacy or presidency? Right now, yes. Right now, what I don't about know other what candidates. about Burn? Feel the burn. What's up, like, Bernie? No. Huh? Oh, back to the future, ass Bernie. Like, you too fuck Bernie. I can't do it. Bernie like he gonna have Alzheimer's any minute. I'm sorry. He's like he's gonna snap like a. I want to say to the world's fighters, fighters, we got fighters. He's like every, any minute he can just go off the, like he just got like he got it all <laughs> like a, whoa career <laughs> it's really been a problem well the day the Geechee is coming he just look like he just Murray he's like I'm sorry he's like at any moment he just says a crazy you. shit <laughs> huh Bernie could do no. it I don't think so he's a new like, sixty nigga <laughs> and he's, he didn't go casket shopping that motherfucker so old. Just go casket shopping. <laughs> my gra my grandma went casket. Look, my grandmother, I took her to a funeral home one time, no bullshit. And I'm thinking she knew the person. She going to every room, touching the casket. I'm like, Grandma, what the fuck you doing that shit? I'm just shopping. <laughs> <laughs> she she, 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 she ain't shopping for caskets. She go to Look at the wood. Look how good it feels. You are like, grandma, stupid. Please. I She's think going Bernie could shopping. do it. Bernie could do it. I don't. Um... 
Dale said the openly gay president's name is Pete Boot Boot Boot, Boot is it Boot again? Booty. Booty. <laughs> <laughs> booty, booty for sure. Big, 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 big booty, big. Big booty. <laughs> that is odd. That's that's like a pun. No pun intended. Yeah, but that's, so, yeah, yeah. I seen him. Yeah, yeah. He's he he a bad good looking guy, huh? He's still he still ain't got pretty good views though. I, I listened to him a few times. He's he's pretty, you know, he's pretty on point. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And he's not like you know his. I have you. Did you see his mate? I haven't seen his mate. No, me neither. I want to see what his mate looks like. Yeah. Has anyone seen uh, Pete Boutique's booty? Booty. I gotta think. Like, booty leg. Am I seen Pete Booty Licious? Am I seen Pete Booty Licious? President uh, Booty Leg. <laughs> I know. That's that's the thing. <laughs> Tina, Please stay. If we, if we, Tina, we have Tina, President Booty. <laughs> Tina said, finish the story about Steve Harvey's daughter and the beehive. We did. We finished it. So, you know, the story was Steve Harvey and Steve and Marjorie Harvey's daughter. It's really Marjorie's daughter, but now it's Steve's daughter, too. So she's gorgeous. She's a socialite. She's um, a model and fly as fuck. Apparently, she met Jay-Z and, you know, was appearing to be flirty with him. Or she right. Oh, that's right. The feed went off. That's what happened. The feed went off when we were talking about her. So she turned her head like this and, you know, they was, she was being playful. I don't know. I would be the same way if I met a check that big. That nigga got such a big check. Like, <laughs> when you see him, you don't even see hope. You see dollar signs. You know what I'm saying? This nigga is so yeah, good. Yeah, you don't yeah. see yeah, money make you money make you forget all about he like he like a damn granimal. You could look like a granimal, no a granimal for real. <laughs> I don't care. That nigga's beautiful. He could be teeny weeny, you but like he could stand on his wallet. <laughs> Shit. So I'm she was flirty and she had you. hated her for it, uh, Tina. They was gonna whoop her ass, they was gonna fuck her up because they felt like she was messing with Beyonce's husband. Oh well, I mean, no big deal. So be told, I mean, Solange already did that. Beehive, calm oh, yeah, down. Oh yeah, she did. He All I'm saying ass. is, I hope, I hope he find his security. Jay Z's security was horrible. He ain't jump in front of him. He ain't just, he, he just he out the do? elevator. I'm not touching that bitch. Security, security was like head. this. Hands up, don't shoot. <laughs> hey, Miranda, that was walked out. Y'all like to share this feed. Shit, what the he hell is he gonna do? Look, what you mean? What are you gonna do? You jump in front. Of you that you gonna protect that man? That man just way walked out. That's, that's that family. That ass whooping he was taking from Solange. And Jay, mm -hmm. Jay Z couldn't chop shit. That motherfucker was hitting. He was hey, come on, come on, stop. Oh, stop, stop. <laughs> he didn't wanna stop. hurt her. I'm Jay Z. Oh, oh. He beat that motherfucker so bad. You see his hand now. She see his hair now. I see his hair. He done grew his hair all nappy now. And he wearing it sort of like Basquiat. I think Jay Z is turning into Basquiat. I ain't got nothing. He look terrible, man. That's, you, oh, that's what like, happened when you just got so much money. I think he wearing his hair like they had the baby, Blue Ivy. Remember she ain't nah, been that like Bill. for a while, and she was walking around with her hair all over her head like that. So I guess he's wearing that, so she won't feel bad. No, he look like he like an old ass Billy Ocean. That old <laughs> ass, he got that old, he got that old Billy Ocean hair, like the Caribbean, Caribbean queen. <laughs> Listen, old we Billy Ocean ass, ass hair. Little Timmy, what you got going on this weekend again? Tell the people. Again, Friday I will be in Durham, North Carolina, and Saturday with Chris Paul. And Saturday I will, and Sunday I will be in New York with my man Sean Harvey in New York, in the Bronx. Sean Harvey, my people from Baltimore act like saying Ah, Sean Harvey, so hard. Sean Harvey, hey, uh, Sean Harvey, Sean Harvey. Why are people from why 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 do people from DC always get their eyes big when y'all say mumbo sauce? Like it's the best thing you ever had. You ever had mumbo sauce? Yes, chill. Yes. <laughs> that shit is the like it's gold. It like, mumbo sauce is like good dick. It's the best worst shit on the planet. <laughs> but you know what though? Mumbo sauce got big. It's in shoppers now. Is it everywhere? You know they have a like mumbo that. sauce competition in DC. Really? It's everywhere. Yes, and like uh, restaurants were uh, in it, 
and uh, mm -hmm. individuals who make mambo sauce. There was a debate that mambo sauce didn't originate in D.C. There was this woman in Chicago who claimed to have come up with the first mambo sauce recipe, but she didn't. It was dispelled. And mambo sauce is a D.C. staple. Go go and mambo sauce. Oh yeah, they have a show called go -Go and mambo, mambo sauce. sauce and go go. Oh yeah, yeah sure. mambo sauce go go. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised y'all don't have a goddamn go go group called mambo sauce, do y'all? I think it is a group called mambo sauce. I think mambo I have heard of really? a group called mambo sauce. Anybody, All sweet. anybody on the team <laughs> got any information about or, or watching this? If you yeah, can find so. out if there's a group called mambo yeah. sauce or a band, I, it probably I think is. it is though. I think there's there a is. Band mambo. I think so. I, I really heard of a band called mambo sauce. I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna look it up. Big Dale going to tell right. me in two seconds because he badass. <laughs> I know. Anyway, this has been great, little Timmy. I miss you. I'm ready to come Always. home. All right, honey. We'll see you up. We come back with Monday? Yeah, I come back Monday. I get out I get out Friday. <laughs> no. yeah. You probably, you probably all locked up in Vegas, aren't you? You know, probably locked up. You probably locked up. You probably like that. Why you got hey, you, you, you to jump on one strap on? What, you, what, the, what kind of jump is that? I'm a sex slave, nigga. This is how we dress. <laughs> huh? You a sex slave? If you a sex slave, nigga, it's because you want to be there. You can leave exactly. any fucking time. You can like, leave Check me. Every time they cuff you, cuff yourself back. They're like, Nikki, you free. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. I ain't done. Oh man, we are here, y'all, each and every Monday. Each and every Monday, Dale said it was one, so I guess he means a band called Mumble Sauce. I think it is. It was. We're gonna have more. I'm gonna find some Mumble Sauce music. So each and every Monday through Friday, we are right here. Me and Little Timmy just talking about anything, everything, and absolutely nothing. You know, I think mm -hmm. Albie Shore shot me a blank though. Why should you a blank? Cause you broke his phone. I nigga. broke his phone. The nigga gave me the number, and the number don't work. What number? The email. The number. They know, they know his phone. The number do work. His phone broke, nigga. He can't, he can't, he can't, you done cracked the phone now. It's on Do Not Disturb. He said, bitch, you want to be off on your own, do you? <laughs> First girl, of all, if, girl, his phone girl. Ring, if his phone ring, he's surprised. Hello? <laughs> oh, shit. Somebody called me. You better, and they are, why do you think Al B. Shaw gonna make a return? He ain't gonna return. Oh, that nigga, that nigga, he gonna make a return right call. <laughs> He ain't doing nothing. Hey, Welcome to the party. Unfortunately, the party is over. Pete Boutig, gay candidate. Thank you, Christine. We had that. Good, at thank one you. Point. So, thank you for coming. Uh, me and Timmy got to go because he's still. I, I, I vote for him. You know, I, I know I vote for him because he had bent over backwards for the country. Oh. <laughs> but um, boom. On that note, we're off. Uh, <laughs> we're all bye. Bye, y'all. All right, babe. <laughs> bye.